Welcome to episode 49 of the Snowflake Snow Pro Core Certification in Depth Training Podcast brought to you by Bright Flux. I am Yakub Abdul Hakim, a certified Snowflake user, and today we're diving deep into strategies to optimize query performance in Snowflake. This episode aims to equip you with all you need to know to enhance your query performance, a critical area of focus for passing the Snow Pro Core Certification exam. Let's start with the basics. Query performance in Snowflake is influenced by a myriad of factors, including but not limited to the structure of your data, the complexity of your queries, and the configuration of your Snowflake account. Optimizing query performance is crucial for not only passing the certification, but also for ensuring efficient data processing and analysis within your organization. First and foremost, proper data modeling is essential. Ensuring that your data is structured and organized in a way that supports efficient querying is the foundation of good performance. This includes using appropriate data types, clustering data based on access patterns, and partitioning data to facilitate efficient reads. Another key strategy is to leverage the Snowflake caching mechanism. Snowflake stores the results of queries for 24 hours, which means that subsequent queries that request the same data can retrieve it from the cache, significantly reducing execution times. It's important to design your queries in a way that maximizes the chances of hitting the cache. Proper use of virtual warehouses is also critical. Warehouses in Snowflake are fully isolated, elastic, and scalable compute resources that execute your queries. Choosing the right size and type of warehouse for your tasks can drastically affect performance. It's advisable to start small and scale up as needed and to match the warehouse size with the workload to avoid unnecessary costs. Indexes are not used in the same way in Snowflake as they are in traditional databases, but understanding how to optimize your use of Snowflake's automatic clustering feature is vital. This feature works in the background to reorganize your data in a way that optimizes query performance, especially for large data sets. Regularly monitoring and adjusting your clustering keys based on query performance metrics can yield significant improvements. Query optimization extends beyond these technical considerations. Developing a culture of performance in your team where queries are regularly reviewed and optimized can have a tremendous impact. Encouraging the use of explained plans to understand query execution paths and continuously refining and simplifying queries can lead to consistent performance gains over time. In addition to these strategies, it is essential to keep an eye on the latest Snowflake updates and best practices as the platform is continuously evolving. Attending Snowflake webinars, reading official documentation, and participating in the Snowflake community can provide you with insights and tips from other experienced users. To wrap up, optimizing query performance in Snowflake involves a combination of technical adjustments, strategic planning, and ongoing learning. It is a critical skill for any data professional, especially those looking to achieve Snow Pro Core certification. Remember, the key to successful optimization is not a one-time effort, but a continual process of improvement. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Stick with us for more in-depth guides to help you on your journey to Snow Pro Core certification. This is Yakub Abdul Hakim from Bright Flux signing off.